the Supreme Court has taken note of the violence against women in Punjab, Taran Taran and in Patna. Violent Taran Taran cop had beaten up a woman for protesting against Eve teasers in Patna. Cops had rained lattes on women teeters protesting for better pay and working conditions. In fact, uh, a two-judge bench headed by G.S. Singhvi has taken so much of cognizance of the incidents uh, in Taran Taran and Patna police atrocities on women. Rishabh is now joining us with more details on uh, what the Supreme Court has said. Rishabh, where the police and the civil society are failing in taking up these issues of blatant atrocities by police, the court has had to step in today. Absolutely right, Maha, and the respective governments the Supreme Court, the two-judge bench doing what the Punjab and Patna governments have not done. Remember, the Supreme Court has taken so much cognizance on the basis of the stark visuals that we've been showing on our screens, not only in Punjab, uh, where a group of cops beat up a woman who, was, who had gone to complain about a molestation attempt, but yesterday in Patna, where the cops went on, on a rampage, we're going to try to pull out some of those visuals for you, where you see cops actually breaking window panes, beating up female teachers. So the two-judge bench led by Mr. Uh, by Justice G.S. Singhvi now wants to know what the governments in both Bihar and Punjab are doing about these two instances. Now, of course, remember in Punjab, a magisterial inquiry has been ordered. That's it. No arrests have been made. The cops has been, have been suspended, but they get paid for that suspension. In Patna, even an inquiry has not been ordered. So the Supreme Court now wants to know from these two state governments what's going on Based on the visuals, why have these cops not been identified and sacked?